Welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we watch the ninth episode of Shokugeki no Soma, Nino Sara. If you want to check out our reaction to the ninth episode of Shokugeki no Soma, Nino Sara, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So on this episode, it was the finals. Finally, Finally the, the finals. Like that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of recap to go over just nope. because, um, it, I mean... That, they did all the run-up last episode. Yeah, they so. did all the run-up last episode. This episode was pretty much just them cooking and, and they're, they're kind of posturing, really. Mm -hmm. Well, they're, yeah, they're, uh, they're building the assumption that uh, Soma has no chance. Yeah. Pretty much between Ryo and Akira. I, I really like how <laughs> the animators kind of went along with that, like, uh, with the... When it when it cut for commercials, mm -hmm. and it's like you get oh, yeah. the you get the two awesome awesome main photos of uh, of uh, like Rio and, and Akira, and then, and, then, and then and then Soma like comes in as an afterthought, like a footnote. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like the way that they did that, but um, so so Rio, uh, we we also got to see that. Um, for the final match, for the final match in specific, it happens at the same time every single year. And because, and that is because they actually have a moon roof. Well, they had, they, yeah, they have a retracting roof on their kitchen stadium. And this stadium is built in line so that the full moon comes right over the middle at, on the same day at the same time every year. Yeah, Damn. ridiculousness that you can only really see in anime. Yeah, I love it though. I absolutely love it. And that serves as a time limit. <laughs> yeah, because so. it will take about two. It will take two hours for the moon to get off of the edge on one side to being completely out of sight on the other side. Yeah, which I love. And then I also love the fact that. Uh, um, the alumni, the no, the judges. What uh, was the alumni's name? Doma. Do Dojima. 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 That's it. Dojima described um, as Ryu goes as uh, Ryu co goes to uh, present his dish for the finals. He is like he's illuminated by the moon, you know, and uh, they they describe it as. A spotlight. As a spotlight, a natural spotlight, and uh, purifying the dish and the yeah. cook as he presents the final dish. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's being a pompous ass, but whatever. It, it, everybody's <laughs> a pompous ass in this show. It yeah. really, it really does like. It it, me, it, it gives some kind of. Uh, supernatural effect to the final round. It enhances the dining experience, which I'm sure was what they were going for. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Rio print yeah. So Rio uh, presents his dish first. And it does kind of go even further into his and Alice's backstory. Uh, where it shows it mostly just shows um Shows uh, Ryu, Ryu or Ryu? Rio. Rio. Can I have him, please? Yeah. Can I have him? I want an aid too. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Yeah. Um, it's ba it's basically like my girl without the bees and death. Yeah. <laughs> and and so it, yeah, it shows them and how they started doing their their cooking battles every single day, which is why they're both so such great chefs is because they push themselves well they were great they, to begin with but then they push themselves for yeah. they took the uh they took the saitama saitama ritual of every, every single day yeah to heart and yeah and so every time that that the other one wins the, yeah, every time that one wins, the other one gets uh, such a sore loser about it. Such a sore loser about it, 
And uh, you guys, one of you guys put it perfectly. They just complement each other so well, um, which is really awesome. At, at first, I, I thought that uh, it was the well, it was the guys from the the restaurant that Rio was working at. Yeah, and they 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 were the ones that were doing the um, the the judging for the early contests. Mm -hmm. And I originally thought that they were that they were just voting Alice just to try to get rid of Rio because <laughs> I, I thought she was literally going to take him away from the restaurant. Yeah. But that's not really what happened uh, because they kept on. They kept on working at it there until, until it. Well, actually, probably for a long time. Yeah, until they probably until they until they came to Totski, to be honest. Probably. Yeah. But um. But so, his dish he paired not only his his uh, his cooking experience from from being the head chef at that at that pub with. He also used some of the experience that he got from from uh, battling against Alice, which is the um, I forget what they call it the the gastro. Oh, uh, what's her field? Uh, microgastronomy. Yeah, micro gastronomy. That word. That word. Beer, 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 beer. Explains a lot. <laughs> but yes, uh, it in in this specific instance, he decided to uh, basically make his stew, and. Um, he took the stew, took all the ingredients, poured a little bit of uh, um, broth into a uh, temp a heat-proof-ish. Well, he heat-resistant plastic wrap, basically. Yep. No. Basically, similar to like like a like a roast, like a pot roast. Um, so so basically, the, the idea yeah. is when you cook it, it it keeps all of the steam and all of the flavor keeps everything uh, inside. Yeah. So that it, it just kind of maximizes the flavor. He basically, yeah, that's the good way to put it. He basically made a seafood pot roast. Pretty much. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Mm -hmm. I um, did put put all that, uh, baked it. I, I'd, I'd assume for like thirty minutes, and then handed it to the judges like that. Yeah. He also, um, before he cooked it, he he put in there a. Uh, excuse me. You put in there a uh, homemade herb butter, which sounded delicious. <laughs> Especially when you're talking like, yeah, well, actually, no. Put that aside that on any meat. What was it? Uh, I don't know. Was it black pepper, garlic? What? Just regular herbs? Yeah. Pretty put simple. Put that on. Put that on any meat. But particularly put that on anything. Anything, yeah. Any. Mm. You probably I, slather my finger with it, and I'd probably eat it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> like that. I'm so fat. <laughs> that just. Yes, we are. Mm. That does sound good. Anyway, uh, like that. yeah, and and basically what ended up was that because everybody would open their own their own little bag, it it was kind of similar to Akira's uh, preliminaries. Mm. Uh, dish where when you broke the little the the top, mm -hmm. the the crust, thing. yeah, the crust of that meat pie, and just yeah, you just got a bam like bitch slap of of uh, <laughs> aroma. What was uh? Do you remember what Summer's dish was in that? In the preliminaries. In in that match, because I know it was. Oh, that, in the, no, well, no, 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 in, in the, the match, match against, against Akira. Akira. Okay. Um. um shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know it had to do with curry spices. Because I thought that uh, I thought it was Soma's who was the meat pie with curry spice in the middle, or something mm. similar to that. You know what episode that was? Oh. It was one of the last ones. Oh, of the uh, of the first season. of the first season. Oh, I can't remember. I thought it was Akira's that was the the one the meat pie thing because you broke the crust and it was like aroma. In either case, I. Mean, it, it, it had, had the, the exact same thing. Both of them had the exact S same effect 31. with the, the yeah. spice bomb. Yeah. If if I was wrong, then you're going to have to forgive me because I haven't watched that episode in, what, a year since it's aired? Semi-final matches of the election. Oh, wait, no, All his right. was, an, Soma's was an omelet. Yeah. That's right. Wow. That's real. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, um, but, but yeah, so it kind of had a similar effect, not not just with the judges, judges but with the crowd as well. 
And then, um, so so his is all well and good. The 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 one fucking hilarious thing that it really did <laughs> with um, Alice's mom when she when she <laughs> ate it and just went fluent Japanese. And not just fluent Japanese, but like fluent Japanese, a million fucking miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It, that was that was. Uh, no, what I liked was, was the wordplay kind of leading up to her uh, bearing her perfect Japanese, and yeah. all the girls from the Polar Star dormitory are like, "Oh my goodness, how indecent!" Yeah, I'm, it's <sighs> uh, <laughs> that, right. that was pretty fucking funny. Hmm. Um, I, I, actually, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to see if I can find which find that. actress. Oh, did, uh, uh, did so I? So then the next. You got it going on. And right on the heels of uh, Ryu presenting his dish, Akira comes up with his dish. And immediately Ryu's like, what the fuck? How dare you bring that shit in here? He's yeah, not about basically the week's what it was was a... Um, a carpaccio, basically like Italian version of sashimi. It, it was, well, it was an appetizer. Yeah. It, like, it wasn't what you would expect somebody would use in a cooking battle. And so, like, Rio just got so fucking... Oh, my God. He, over the top. He blew the fuck up. Yeah, there were a lot of times I thought he was actually going like, to punch Akira. I know. During that whole fight. Seriously. But the, the really cool thing, and I'd actually, lo- I'd actually love to be able to, to see this happen, hmm. uh, to actually eat a dish like this. Uh, so he goes to present the dish, and then everybody, everybody like, they kind of oh, grabbed, they kind of grabbed to go to grab for it. He's like, and he's like wait, hold wait, up. It's not done quite yet. <laughs> takes a torch and starts burning it. Searing it. Mm. And boom goes that, the dynamite. That, that was the point in this anime that I'm like, I could smell that. We have achieved smell of vision. Because I love, much. I, I love the smell of frying fish. I, I, I absolutely do. Especially over an open flame, just mm-hmm. okay. So the voice actress for uh, Leonora, mm-hmm. which is uh, Alice's mother, is uh, wow. Sayaka O'Hara. Hmm. I don't think that I've personally watched anything with it in her. Whoa. Strike it, reverse it. <laughs> uh, strike that, reverse it. Watch anything with her in it. Uh, wow. <laughs> Where's my mind at? Right? You only had one. She's been a voice actress for a while, but uh, let me let me think. Um, uh, here's a way back when she did uh, Kimura's wife in Azumanga Daioh. Oh wow, the the original waifu. Yeah, like the like literally where that where that where the word comes from. Yeah, where that reference is from. My the waifu. original waifu. Wow. Um, okay. Which is pretty funny. Yeah. So Maximo Otaku um, cred there. Yeah, no, not going too far into it, but like she does an absolutely phenomenal job in this. Like m- most anime, it would just you know go along with like, oh, this person's foreign, but you know they they speak fluent Japanese just because you know easier for the audience. Like it, yeah, because it's easier for the audience. But yeah, the fact that she uses such like great. Broken Japanese, but it's still like, easy for a native pep- audience to understand. Not even peppered, like like what, what's something more than peppered? Like one, like one or two steps above peppered with with English, coated perhaps. Yeah, I, but a, yeah, a, a it, generous, it works. a generous coat of, of uh, English. Yeah. It lo- like, uh, what was that phrase that I was like, did she really just say that? Because uh, it was like, ouch, our ouch, subgroup, des. yeah, yeah, our ow, subgroup ow, yes. um, translated it as piping hot, and she was like, ouch, ouch, desio, ouch, ouch, desine, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. And on the opposite side of taking a bite of these these specific dishes and then just going a million miles an hour can't understand a damn thing she's saying because it's going way too damn fast and i cannot keep up that pace right for that amount of time and i fluently speak english it's like yeah when she gets in that uh, that bear mode it she is to the japanese language what like um anchors on your on uh 
te uh, Telemundo are to Spanish. Just right. a million miles an hour. <laughs> Nobody can really understand them. Not even native speakers. Uh, let's see. Uh, here, here's one recently. She did the, um, she did the, the mother, uh, the feminazi bitch, basically, in Shimonetta. Oh, oh, okay, Anna's mother. Right, Anna's yeah, mother. Anna, Anna's mother. She has a thing for cougars then. Awesome. Well, she is an older voice actress. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's Type interesting. Cast, but she did, like, I mean. Great job. Like, yeah, I, I can't say enough, like, just how phenomenally she did that part. Like, it is just really good. I mean, that, that could have been. That could have been a uh, post-edit where they kind of just sped things up, but it was still so it good. Well, to make no, it, I really, I really don't think that they that they post-edited it. Actually, uh, the, uh, if they did post-edit it, it'd have to be damn near immaculate. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it was the only sound worse if they sped it up. Then, so, so. kudos to the way. <laughs> when you speed things up, the uh, the frequent the frequency. Of and uh, I guess tone of the voice ends up going up. Well, so it just gets like yeah. And you have warped. you have to go and and fix that up a little bit and then yeah. But the more there, there's more a lot of problems it. with speeding stuff up. Yeah, it was it was absolutely fantastic. However, yeah. sorry, back, back to, to the story. Food. Back to the food. So um, so yeah, Akira um, he he sears the the dish that he has. And mm. like that, that has basically the same effect as when they they opened up uh, Rio's dish, because the smell just wafts over the crowd, and the crowd's like literally just like, holy shit! I can't even taste it, and, and I, I can already tell that it's delicious. Mm -hmm. They can taste it from there without eating it. Yeah, and, and uh. And like, like I said, I'm so hungry. When, when you go, <laughs> when you put a fish over an open flame, you can smell it. You can smell it all across the house, all across the, mm -hmm. all, everywhere. Down the fucking street. Down the fucking Trust stream. Trust me, our neighbors cook fish all the time. A lot of fish. I, I used to do a lot of fishing. I used to mm. do a lot of you know, campfire cooking. Yeah. And mm, Bro, mm, we used to live in Hawaii. Enough said on that. Mm. You so, can yeah, smell it. That, <laughs> just, just hearing that. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> but we found out that he ended up. Uh, he he had, I guess, pre-glazed the sari with a uh, a sugar and allspice blend, and that caused uh, was uh, no, the, of allspice. The, allsp and the allspice was added on top of the dish. Mm -hmm. The um, uh, I can't remember exactly what they said that that sauce was made out of, but it, it's like a it's um, something that's used a lot in Japanese cooking. I'd imagine that it's yeah, you know, it's salty and sweet kind of uh, yeah, yeah. bounce of those flavors. But so the with the sugar added in that when he seared it, it, it just locked in the juiciness, the flavor, and gave it a nice glaze, which gave it a aroma. nice glaze and allowed the fish to be uh to be seared a little quicker yeah because so, the it's hot the, sugar <laughs> shit burns yeah and the uh, open flame to a fish wouldn't necessarily instantaneously fry fry something it takes a while yeah even uh, and, even and, searing and yeah. basically you don't want to leave the flame on it too long it's not like you right, can don't want to dry it out it's not like you can take it over take it over a campfire just Cool. Oh, that's not how that works. Yeah. So, <laughs> but he basically treated it like a seared ahi, which is kind of a trendy dish. Once mm -hmm. they have the moment, but same principle: use the flame, uh, bring out more flavor, kind of lock it in. Mm -hmm. Our buddy locked it up with the glaze. That's kind of a novel touch. So, so Akira's dish goes over very well. Well, yeah, and well, obviously Rio and Akira's dish. You know, all the crazy visuals. You know, head, uh, the headmaster of the school goes I, topless again. I and, actually like. It's, I don't want, I don't know the reference, but I know the reference was something, something that had to do with, with video games. However, Ryu's reference was clearly, clearly Final Fantasy. I would say, yeah, either Final Fantasy or Guilty Gear. Yeah. yeah something. So. 
If, but if I had to pick one for Akira, it'd probably be some like one, maybe one of the Prince of Persia games, perhaps. Maybe. Um, that's kind of the style that they were going with for his outfit. Oh, but so as they were, uh, as they were, you know, finishing up the the dish from Akira, they started describing this this battle of swords with Ryu and it. Well, the start of the Hulk and yeah. Full of spice, full of bam in your face, giant sword. Whereas Akira, his was more like a, a sh very sharp, very precise, very precise rapier. And so it had them with a with a little bit of a sword battle, and you know Rio with the big movements with the giant sword. Then he winds up, winds back to go for a big hit, and yeah, All Akira of a comes in with the with the <laughs> rapier right to his neck, and then Soma shows up at the last possible second, right when the moon is about to set behind the stadium. He comes in with uh, one of those clay pots that, that you see, uh, like in a Mama Inazuma, they always cook the rice in. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's earth and, and ice. Oh, man. Yeah, one of those earthen pots. He comes in and he takes the lid off and he has the uh, the salted soury uh, in it. And I can't remember if it, what was what else was in it, but it seems I like saw a mushrooms, uh, really small uh, mushrooms, assorted veggies. Basically, um, I might have fish saw... fried rice or. Basically, what happened was he um, after after he washed the the fish because you do have to wash yeah wash it wash the preserving agent the pickling agent off yeah uh, you definitely don't want to eat this stuff that's oh, yeah. for sure um, but after he washes the fish he grills it on his clay um, his clay uh, wood fired grill and then after he after he grills the fish then he cooks it in mm -hmm. with the rice. Mm -hmm. So it imparts that that saltiness from the preservative and that fish fat and all that stuff and all that the fish rice fat too. and everything into the mm -hmm. rice. And, oh. I actually remember uh, seeing a dish exactly like that on Iron Chef. It was the two. Uh, was it the Twenty First Century Battles special, where it was? Uh, you would remember the episode. Yes, I would. But it was exactly like that, except the fish was red snapper, not soury. Mm. But that's because red snapper wasn't seasoned then. Um. But yeah, it, I mean, it looked really good, but kind of throughout it, you could tell that it wasn't quite the same level as the other twos. Mm. Um, well, and, and then the stinger. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, well, so the episode actually ends right after they finish taking their bite of uh, Soma's Soma's dish, and they're like, "Ooh, hey, everybody! Yeah, everybody home. takes their bite, and everybody, you know." Everybody's like, yes, 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 Very yes, nice. yes. All right, done. That's it, nothing else. Yep. And then, after the credits roll and we get the stinger, everybody is like... Everybody's finished up. Uh, you notice that the, the director has not taken off his shirt. And that kind of starts the aw shit. Yeah, the, it starts the aw shit. Everybody else, or the other two, because there's only two other judge, actual judges in this. The other two had already finished and set down their chopsticks. And then Soma's like, oh, please, have seconds. And uh, Dejima is basically like, no, no, we're, we're finishing this right now. And then last and, possible yeah. second. And then last possible second, he cuts Dejima off and he's like, no, please, I insist. Pour this on top when you have seconds. And, and, that's it. and that's it. And so we know that the next episode is gonna open up with that and and show the the perfect dish that Soma brings out to have the come from behind victory. Uh, you, you pretty much know that that's what's gonna happen, so. Something, something's gonna happen and I cannot wait for next week. Yeah. So going forward then, he wins, he gets a spot in the Elite 10. Will he win? Will he win though? These are some, <clears throat> I mean like. Only three episodes left for. Yeah, three episodes left. A lot of questions to answer in that short amount of time. But for, for the dishes that I see, hmm. Soma's is the one that you give to the family, basically. Well, that, that's always been his cooking. The family diner. Yeah. 
Uh, of course, Ryu. Ryu is something that you would give in a you know, very fanciful restaurant alongside Akira's. Like, you would- Oh, for the love of God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if you hear a baby crying. Our neighbors like leaving their fucking door open. And inviting a ton of people. Anyway, um, you know, you, you'd order you'd order a Kira's dish right at the beginning. Everybody takes their pick, and then you'd order Ryu's dish, and you know, then you have dessert. <laughs> well, honestly, Ryu's dish wouldn't even be a main course. It'd probably be like you'd have the appetizer, then you'd have like a soup, and that a soup, and that's where that's where he, his dish would fit in. Yeah, you good. wouldn't you wouldn't like that wouldn't even be a main course, but I don't know. That's it's just the, kind of the way that I look at it, but it's all delicious yeah. though. Yeah, anyway, I, I think we've, I think we've rambled on long enough. But so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you're not, if you don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Thumbs down. <laughs> Thumbs down if you don't like the screaming baby in the background. How about that? That's going to do it for this episode of Batman Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.